How to make a professional looking intro in iMovie with me 742 on Max. So guys as you know this is what I use to edit my videos with iMovie. Um, here is a really decent intro that I'll show you um, at the end of the video what it can do. I'm just going to turn that down at the moment. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to download some music first uh, that you know you're going to put into the intro and take a section of it out that I've done and I've put that in there. And then with iMovie is also really good, you can put in uh, custom transitions, you can choose from all of these. Um, I really like the ripple effect, the page curl, mosaic, uh, spin out, circle opens really useful, cross blur, fade well, I like all of them, spin is really quite useful as well. Um, so what you want to do is you can add in these transitions here. And now as you can see here, uh, this I have downloaded from a website, this is actually 20 seconds long and you pick how long you want it to be and you can cut it down, uh, you can trim it, you can do whatever you want with it and then you can put it into there, you can implement it into your, uh, into your project. Uh, so what you want to do guys is you want to go onto Google or Safari or whatever and you want to type in movie tools or it's movietools.info actually or movietools.net or .com or whatever and when you click on that uh, you can then have a really good uh, range of different backgrounds to do. Uh, this is an example of one orange lighting. So now what I do is I go video background loops, they're called loops and then you I always do energy loops. Well for this particular one I've done energy loops. And I'll just show you guys an example, so I'll just randomly click on this one, um, they've got modern ones as well, this is from 10th November 2013, um, I'll show you which one to download in a sec, but this is an example of what it can do if I just quickly play it, uh, so that will play in the background, this one, this particular one is 10 seconds, so that's an example of what to do, if you like it, you don't need to worry about that, ignore that, it's fine, um, if you want to download it, uh, for Mac this is obviously for Microsoft you can do it as well you want to download that one for Mac always download this download QuickTime file movie you want to click download there um, and then it will go into a folder and you want to put it into movies uh, you want to drag it uh, click it and drag it into movies uh, so I'll just go off that for a sec and then once that's there uh, you then import into iMovie you can then put it there and then you implement it here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, then the main thing is you can basically see what it does. In fact, I'll just show you here. This is what this particular one that I've got is. I'm going to use this for one video. I've actually got somebody making me an intro at the moment. Uh, so this is what this one sort of does. It's like a red light tunnel, really cool effects sort of thing. Um, if any of you watch Doctor Who, I certainly do not. But if any of you watch Doctor Who, it's sort of similar to that, I suppose. Um, now what you want to do is then you drag it into here and I've done a transition here straight away uh, so what I've done here if I turn up the volume slightly uh, you'll be now able uh, to be to hear my voice in the background slightly as well so what I've done is here you can see that ripple uh, that effect immediately at the beginning there so you can see it goes into it and uh, I'm just going to turn it down again and then what you want to do is you then so if I just play you the whole thing uh, without any sound at the moment this is what it does uh, you can then see there's a ripple effect there as well, and then my name comes up there. And then I've got another effect now to for that to spin out at the end, and then this opens, and then if you want a video or gameplay or whatever, you then import it and implement it there. Uh, you can also see for the music that I've got here, I don't fade it in at the moment, because for this particular music I don't. Uh, but then at the end here, I fade out, uh, it's about 2 seconds, it's about 1 and a bit seconds, you can see, it. sorry, it's, le it's less than that, about half a second, you can see 7.4 to 7.7, .7, so it's 0.3 of a second, but it makes all the difference, trust me. Uh, so here I've got an immediate transition there, uh, it sort of fades into it, and then I've got, as the music uh, has a sort of bass drop there, I've got a ripple effect there for, a, for like point. Point, uh, 4 or point 0.5 of a second or whatever it is I've got a ripple effect there and it works then uh, I let that go for a couple uh, for a point 0.2 of a second it really is important you've got to be really precise and then I implement the text so what you want to do to implement the text guys as you guys know you can't you on Mac you're not iMovie you cannot download custom uh, transitions and then implement your text into it you've got to make it yourself um, so I agree I understand that some people do it on After Effects or uh, whatever the other Mac one is but I just use iMovie for it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go on to titles, you can pick whatever one you want. And you've got the bog standard one there where it just goes like that. If you guys don't want, uh, don't know what they do, you just go onto it and you can move your mouse from left to right and uh, you can see what they do. So I think for this one what I've got is, it might even be this one, I'm not too sure. I can't quite remember but whatever text you want, uh, you've got a few little effects ones there so you can have like lights 
Uh, you can have lens flare, you guys will have seen that on many people's videos. You can have a background and then for it to go into there. This one's pretty cool if you're doing a tutorial, um, like a sort of movie, old Star Wars movie text there. You can have loads of different ones there. That, that's a really cool date and time one if you're doing a video journal or whatever. And if you want credits at the end of the video, you, iMovie's got that. So you can do this one as well. This one I've seen on a load of intros. And for any girls watching, you can do the pixie dust one. Uh, so whatever text you've got, you want to click it and you're going to drag it down. Now I'm not going to do it for this video as I've already got it, uh, but you then drag it down and it's really important when you do it that you drag it down so it goes on top of that, okay? You can do it on top, you can do it on top of there, but you don't want to put it over there, you don't want to put it down there, you want to put it on top or there. Uh, now that's simply because that will then implement it into the background. Uh, so as you can see here, I put the text in here for 6.3 seconds, and then I've chosen one where there's a line that goes across, 7421 at the top, max at the bottom, and then it keeps on going, keeps on going, little effect to the background there, uh, transition, and then you can see it fades out there. And then it goes, uh, it keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going, and then eventually it fades out as well. Uh, so you can see there, that's the circle open or circle close to my video. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is a really simple way. Uh, this is a really simple way to do it. You can just see, download the custom movie there. That's what it actually looks like. It looks pretty cool. Um, and then you've got the uh, music there. And you and if you want to select which bit of the music you want, uh, you simply will go like this. Uh, say you want uh, from that little drop there, to that little drop there instead of putting all of the 5.5 minutes of music down there and cutting it and all that you can just drag and select that 31.6 seconds in this case selection or if you just want a weeny little bit like you can get to 8.4 seconds if you want to know what it listens like uh, you just double click on that click where you want to go and you can then play it and that will just play the music if you want to see what this does uh, you just play it there now if you download a uh, one of these effects, uh, one of these backgrounds, and it's got sound in it, don't worry, you just go onto here, and it will, if it has sound, it will allow you to click volume, and you can do naught, and then you can change the volume of your music, you can do sound there, and I've got it on 100, uh, you can also lower volume of the clips if you want a bit of the sound from the uh, bit in the back as well, uh, you can always enhance it as well, I'm not going to for this uh, particular stage, I will when I've edited the video, so now what I'm going to do guys, is show you, uh, play it out loud, and I will show you it. Let me just turn it up. Okay, so this is what mine is at the moment. Uh, let me just turn it down. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty cool intro. Um, I would recommend not doing it more than 8 or 10 seconds at least. But anyway, if you guys found this video useful and informative, because I remember searching on Google um, and on YouTube how to create... Um, or how to create um, uh, a YouTube intro in Mac, you can't really find them. Uh, if you want to implement your music, uh, you go onto iTunes, you can do other sound effects and implement garage band music, you can do different backgrounds there as well. You can do all of this, look guys, you can even do a curtain to open it, you can do stars, you can do gradient, look. you can have stars in the background as well, and you can have something dra uh, dragging in, you can do the crop, th uh, crop tool for that. But for me, I just found this really cool background. There are loads of them to choose from on movietools.net or movie tools. They're all free. Uh, so if you guys found the video useful, let me know down below in the comments section. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys over on the next one.